Hi everybody, Randy Hilarski here coming at you from Panama City, Panama. Behind me we have La Cinta Costera. This is the uh, old parts of Panama. This is where the, the heads of states were, were stay. That's the presidential palace over there. You know, we don't go into Panama Viejo very much because I think it's overpriced. And, <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. You know, they totally remodeled it. UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is um, the Santa Costera 3. It takes you all the way around. It's the bridge that takes you all the way around Panama Viejo. When I first got here to Panama, that was not open. So this has opened in the last like seven years, this bridge, before everybody had to go past Panama Viejo on the other side, which caused lots of traffic issues. So I'm gonna pass under the bridge right now and I'll take it to the other side. Oh boy. So how's everybody doing? You enjoying this uh, pulse chain sacrifice phase? Pretty exciting stuff. I'm watching all you guys either praising or complaining, which is typical for crypto, right? <laughs> We're never happy. <laughs> uh, so what did you get your sacrifice in for? Uh, when I did mine, it was 15.2 cents and I, I was pretty happy with that. Uh, that was day one, late in day one. And I know some people who were complaining when the price dropped, when the whales were playing whale games. And what do you expect, man? They wanna protect their positions. So the cheaper they get you in at, the better for them. Here's a nice bronze statue. Maybe it's the ball or something, who knows. <laughs> right now we're out by the, the fish market. It's really, it's really chill here. Um, it's Friday night, it's quiet. You'll see this area fill up like crazy over the next hour or so. Let me show you the fish market real quick. Ooh. Now we have super high tides here in Panama. The I don't know what the difference is, how much, how many meters it goes up or down, but it's pretty high. That is the fish market. So if you ever want to get fish while you're here in Panama, that's where you go. You see another fishing vessel coming in right now. Another new building going up. I think that one's going to be, I don't know if it's commercial, but it looks like it looks like it's gonna be regular real estate. Um, apartments. That's Ancon Hill. I made a video recently where I was down the other side. flipped it around. I was having some issues there with my uh, my DJI. I was pressing the wrong button. I've only had this thing for six months. Still getting used to it. But this is all pretty new, this whole area. The I think it was completed at the end of uh, Martinelli's presidency. It was one, his last project that he completed. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, I wanted to talk about what's going to happen with ERC-20s and HEX once the snapshot phase is announced. Uh, I really do believe that projects who announce that they're gonna support Pulse, their coins are gonna freaking go mad before the snapshot. Those of us who've been around long enough know what it's like when a pull, when a when a announcement for a snapshot is going to occur, then everybody fomos in and gets as many coins as they can. Here because my kid he's trying to ride in the grass with his bike. I want you, Dad. And then uh, I, a good one that I remember was a uh, Bitcoin Gold. Um, a lot of things. Z Classic was the the mule. <laughs> to use for many of these coins that uh, new projects that were doing privacy were uh, were using. So I remember um, 
another good one. Horizon Zencash, I actually did their launch. Um, they announced their snapshot and the price of Zen Z Classic went crazy. Also, uh, same thing happened with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Private, that's what it was, Bitcoin Private. Uh, I think <laughs> Z Classic went over 20 bucks. I can't remember the exact price. It was freaking ridiculous from like a dollar. So we could see the same thing happening with ERC-20s. And people who are ignoring this are going to miss out. <laughs> I'm telling you now, because now is the time to prepare your ERC-20 holdings of projects that you either suspect or will be working with the Pulse chain. So pay close attention. Obviously, we already know that Hex is going to, right? So what does that mean for Hex? It means stake as many or get as many Hex as you can because all the Hex that you own will be, will be copied over. All right, took a little break there. I wanted to give you guys a view of the city. Um, there was some kids here. I just didn't want to get them on video. Didn't want to offend them. That's a uh, Paitia in the background. You can see the old Trump Tower. Uh, they renamed it. I think the Marriott bought it. And all along the Santa Costera here. Looks like it's going to bring in some serious rain tonight. So, yep, don't climb. So, what is your plan for the snapshot phase? And what do you think the price of Hex and other ERC-20s are gonna do? What is your favorite speculation for Pulse Chain? Mine are ETA, ETA swap, because I think Mike, uh, Mike Patel of ETA, he already knows everything that's going on with Pulse, and I've already informed him. And he's already said that he will support Pulse Chain with his project. So that's one that I'm looking at. Uh, another one, obviously, is Hex. Uh, what do you think Link's going to do? Uh, I don't know. It's something to think about, right? What are the coins that are most likely going to immediately support their Pulse versions? Any coins that don't support are, uh, in my opinion, foolish. They just got to double their supply. <laughs> Seems pretty amazing to me. So where do we think, let's change subject now. Where do you think the price of Hex is going to go before the end of the Pulse Chain Sacrifice? I think we'd be lucky to pass 20 cents now. Originally I was thinking, uh, 36 cents but these whales are persistent these whales are fighting for that price of hex they want to keep it low to make sure that you and i aren't able to uh, get a big percentage we saw the price of pulse chain now not price but the amount of sacrifice coins is now over 600 million dollars what <laughs> are we gonna beat eos for the record that would be just mind-blowing so I've had to stop recording multiple times because my son keeps showing up <laughs> um, it's been difficult out here trying to get uh, amusing but hey you guys this is Panama man it's, it's a beautiful country um, they're not forced vaccinating people here we have a stupid mask mandate I'm supposed to be wearing a mask right now but you know I'm 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 not very good at paying attention and obeying the law so Oh man, what a beautiful night. So relaxing, taking the family out here. I got Anna's mom here, her sister, her dad. We'll go out to dinner after this and uh, enjoy our time together because who knows when these uh, lunatics in government lock us down again, and lock down the world and destroy the economy further. <laughs> so just keep going, guys. Um, I still believe we're in a bear market in crypto. Uh, Pulse is one of those few places in crypto where it's still, the sun is still shining. Uh, obviously that includes Hex, uh, P Hex. You're all about to get double the T-shares that you currently have. Do you realize how 
freaking amazing that is. What? Oh my god, I, I just can't imagine. I mean, what if what if P hex and E hex are the same value in the next six months? And what if you have six figures of hex and then or E hex and then you also have six figures of P hex? You just doubled your bag. <laughs> I love crypto. Money from heaven. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to enjoy some dinner tonight. And uh, really, mention in the comments what you think. And please like this video and subscribe if you think I'm providing value. All right? Cheers.